of us knew that when the shooting started, it was going to go for almost 20 minutes. I, didn't, I don't think any of us knew 520 rounds were going to be fired into the church. Today marks five years since a gunman opened fire during Sunday services at the First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs, making it the deadliest shooting in Texas history. Today, the community remembered the 26 victims during a special ceremony only KSAT crews were invited to. The night team's Alyssa Cole talks with survivors about how remaining active in the church has helped them heal. Keith Braden. Robert Corrigan. Emily Hill. Julie Workman survived one of the deadliest mass shootings in Texas history. Just the barrel of the gun fire into my son, directly into my son's back. Then um, I take a bullet towards the chest. Today, she's remembering the loss of family and friends at First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs ringing of the bells ceremony. Sarah Johnson. I try to go back to a joyous time that I remember about each one of those people. Families leaning on one another, the bell ringing in honor of the 26 men, women, and children killed during a mass shooting in the sanctuary of First Baptist Church back on November 5th, 2017. David Colbath is one of the 23 survivors. I still remember 26 that died, even though I still have injuries that, that, that hamper my movement and what I do, I still say every day, God is good. And just across the street at a small business having their own commemoration in the form of a balloon release. Count of three, one, two, three. As I, as I was looking at the balloons go up, uh, it's just thinking about the, all the lives that were lost, but um, we have to remember the memories, right? And that's what keeps, that's what gives us hope. As the healing continues, members say they're committed to serving in and on behalf of the church. Do we just say, oh, well, they died, don't worry about it, or do we honor them and honor them in God's word and continue to do God's work? That's what I want to do, and that's what my fellow survivors that are still here, it looks like that's what they want to do. At the end of the ceremonies, workmen sharing this message to inspire others. When we see that somebody's hurting, when we see that something's not right, that we, we speak up, and we work to do something about it. Back in September, we reported on former pastor Frank Pomeroy stepping down as the lead pastor, but he returned today to ring the bell 26 times. As of today, the church is still searching for a lead pastor. Alyssa Cole, KSAT 12 News.